What you see here is the all new third gen Dacia Duster and it gives us our first look of the new India bound Renault Duster. Over this video, we'll quickly talk of the key things you need to know about the important new SUV. First things first, the new Duster is built on the Renault Nissan Alliance's modular CMF B platform. In a nutshell, it's a relatively new global platform that's more advanced than the M0 that underpinned the original Duster. Importantly, it offers opportunities for electrification, which we'll get to in a bit. In look, the latest Duster retains the chunky stance of the original. The latest model is more squared out and the muscular flanks and shapely bonnet give it great volume. Helping the look are the large 18-inch rims and adding to the outdoorsy appearance is generous plastic cladding at the bumpers and angular wheel arches. In terms of styling, the large headlights with their Y-shaped DRLs fuse into the grille, but these are elements that would likely change on Renault's version of the SUV for India. At the sides, there's a unique contrast panel behind the front wheel arches, and notably, the rear door handles come integrated into the C-pillar. The upswept glass house is a subtle link to the original duster, while at the back, there are attractive C-shaped full LED taillights. Also included is a sporty roof spoiler. The new duster measures 4.34 meters in length, which makes it about as long as the original duster. Importantly, 4x2 models will have 209 millimeters of clearance, while 4x4 versions will have 217 millimeters of ground clearance. The new duster carries the rugged and utility-driven look into its cabin too. The dashboard is nicely turned out and angles the center console towards the driver. Taking pride of place here is a 10.1-inch touchscreen unit, below which are the air conditioning vents with their own Y-themed elements. And lower down, there's physical buttons for the climate control system. 7-inch digital dials and a flat-bottom steering wheel are other elements of note. The seats on the model shown abroad are upholstered in fabric, but Renault could go for leatherette for the India spec model. On the subject, the model could be spruced up for India with different colors and materials as well. Going by the images and video footage released so far, there's an absence of soft touch materials on the dash. There appears to be a hard-wearing look to all plastics with a more premium looking grain than what the original duster got. Storage spaces are a plenty with a wireless charging pad at the center console, cup holders behind the gear lever and a storage bay under the front center armrest. There's also a phone holder beside the touchscreen and a phone holder at the back as well. Charging options include two USB-C chargers and a 12 volt outlet for both the front and rear sections of the cabin. The rear seat features flat contours similar to the original Duster. Adjustable headrests for all three occupants and three-point seat belts will be offered and it's safe to assume a fold-on center armrest will also be packaged in for India. Dacia says the new Duster is roomier than the model it replaces with greater shoulder room being the key highlight. Interestingly, a three-row seven-seat version of the SUV is also in the works. Boot space stands at 472 litres, measured up to the parcel tray, and there's the added flexibility of split and fold rear seat backs as well. The last gen duster was on the back foot when talking features. The new one will make amends with the large 10.1 inch touchscreen, 7 inch digital dials, 6 speaker audio system with Archimist 3D sound, a wireless phone charger, cruise control, and an electric parking brake will likely make it to India too. The model that's been shown abroad doesn't sport a sunroof though. Models abroad will debut with ADAS functions as well, such as auto emergency braking and lane keep assist, and it'll be interesting to see if Renault goes the distance to bring these features to India as well. The question mark for now is the engines for India. The Duster has debuted abroad with three engine options. There's a strong hybrid that pairs a 94 horsepower 1.6 litre petrol engine with a 49 horsepower electric motor and a high voltage starter generator. And this unit is a front runner for India. The other version of interest is a new TCE 130. This powertrain combines a three cylinder 1.2 litre turbo petrol engine and a 48 volt mild hybrid system. Peak power is 130 horsepower. The powertrain has been revealed with a six-speed manual gearbox with standard fit front-wheel drive and there's the option of all-wheel drive as well. All-wheel drive versions will get a terrain mode selector including an auto mode that will read surface conditions and automatically apportion torque between the front and rear axles. 4x4 versions will also get hill descent control as well as off-road screens showing tilt angle, pitch and torque distribution between the front and rear axles. Also, as mentioned, ground clearance for 4x4 versions will be 217 mm and the other stats are 31 degree approach, 36 degree departure and 24 degree ramp breakover angles. Certain markets will get a Duster Eco G, that's a petrol LPG model, but what's definite is that India will not get a diesel engine option. 
Before you go rushing to your nearest Renault dealer to book the new Duster, you should know that the model is still some time away from an India launch. The model will only go on sale in our market in the festive season of 2025. The new Duster will go up against a competent field of mid-sized SUVs including the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Volkswagen Tiguan, Skoda Kushak, Maruti Grand Vitara, Toyota Urban Cruiser Highrider and MG Aster. As before, rugged appeal could help the Duster make a space for itself in the crowd. Renault's partner Nissan will also have its version of the Duster further on. Prices for the new Duster will be in the region of 20 lakh rupees. Question is, does the new Duster do it for you? Let us know in the comment section below and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Autocar India channel for more automotive content.